Hello, my name is Vic and welcome back to the channel. If you've been following the channel for a while, you notice that I've been talking a lot about open source software, specifically in video editing. That's Caden Live and Shotcut. In today's video, I'm switching gears a little bit and I'm going to be talking about GIMP, which is the GNU Image Manipulation Program. If you haven't heard about GIMP before, in a nutshell, it helps you edit photos and it's sort of like the open source equivalent to Photoshop. So GIMP is open source and what I love about it is that it's also free and it is cross-platform, which means that you can use it for Linux, you can use it for Windows, and you can use it for Mac. I personally used it on the Mac before for work and I haven't had any issues. In today's video, I'm just gonna be going over briefly how to install GIMP onto your computer. In Windows, it's pretty straightforward. You pretty much just download the file, you install, and on Mac, you download the DMG file, you copy that to your applications, and off you go. But in Linux, however, if you're using Linux for the very first time, or if you're new to Linux, and you're a bit confused on how to do this, I will go over those steps with you today. There are two ways to install GIMP onto your system if you're using Linux. I'm using Pop! OS, which is a Debian-based or an Ubuntu-based distribution. So if you're using Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Pop! OS, or any other Debian-based distribution, this should also apply for you. The easiest way and the first method to do that is through your software manager. So in Pop! OS, that is called the Pop! Shop. So I'm just going to go ahead and open the Pop! Shop over here. And in, if you're using Ubuntu, that will be your Ubuntu Software Center. I'm going to search for GIMP. There it is. And it's going to offer me to install GIMP right through with a one-click installation. There are two versions that are offered through Pop! OS, and that's the Debian package, as you can see here, the, with a DEB, and a Flatpak version as well. So I will not really go over the differences uh, between Debian and Flatpak. Mainly the difference is just that the versions can be a little bit different. So with the Debian package, we're using a slightly older version. That's 2.10.22. If you're not fussed about that, you can just go ahead and click install and off you go. If you want to be keeping up to date with the most recent version, I highly recommend using the Flatpak version. So that's the easy way to do that, but we're on Linux now, so we want to be comfortable using the terminal. So if you want to know how to install GIMP using the terminal, it's pretty simple. I've launched a terminal window here, and this is applying to any Debian-based distribution. So I just go sudo apt install and GIMP. It'll ask me for my password. It's gonna go ahead and download and install this package. Now that our package has been installed, we can now find it in our applications. So if you're using GNOME, this is what it would look like. If we search for applications, there is GIMP and we can just launch it from there. So that will probably be the easiest way to do that. But let's say I want to stay up to date with the most recent version. I will show you how to install using Flatpak. So first of all, let me just show you how to uninstall GIMP. So sudo apt remove GIMP. So this will remove the currently installed program. Let's say you don't like it for whatever reason. And just go ahead and remove that. If you want to install it on Flatpak, and first of all, we need to set up Flatpak on your distribution. Some distributions are already set up by default, but in case you don't have it set up by default, this is the way that you would do it. First, we would go to the website then we go to the quick setup over here and you can find instructions for the distribution that is specific for you. On Pop! OS, Flatpak is installed by default, so you don't have to do anything, but let's say you're on Ubuntu. I can click on Ubuntu here. If you're on Ubuntu 18.10 or higher version, you just type this into the command line. So let's try that. I'll open up a terminal. I'm going to copy this command paste it in here. This isn't going to do anything because it's already installed and it pretty much just tells me it's done. So let's go ahead and exit there. So that has set up the Flatpak on our distribution and now we can install Flatpak applications. So Flathub is a great resource for all apps that are packaged in Flatpak 
And in this case, GIMP is even featured in the popular apps. But in case you don't see it, you can definitely search for it. There it is. And we just wanted to check the latest version in Flatpak is 2.10.24. I'd like to check here on the official website. It's version 2.10.24. And it's very simple to do that. You just copy this command, open up a terminal and paste the command. It's going to tell us that there is a flat pack there. Click yes to confirm. And this is going to take a while to download. So I might fast forward through this. But before I go, I just want to let you know that if you're installing Flatpak, it's usually a larger file. So depending on what compromise you want to make, if you have plenty of space, then that shouldn't bother you. But if you're tight on space and you're willing to work with a not so up to date version, it's still stable, by the way, even though it's not up to date, the one that's offered in your software repository you can go ahead and install the Debian file version. The file size would be a little bit smaller and you can still get all the features that you need. Depending on your internet connection, the downloading and installation of the Flatpak version might take some time. So I went ahead and fast forward through that step. Now that the installation is complete, similar thing. If we search for it in our applications, it will show up. This time, this is the Flatpak version. So just to show you that this is indeed the Flatpak version, I will go ahead and check the version number. It is version 2.10.24, which matches the most recent version that we have. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this answered a few questions and clarified a bit of confusion, especially for the, new, the Linux newcomers. Uh, if you still have any questions, I will link in the description some step-by-step, -step, especially the commands that you need to install for the Flatpak version. That's it. I'll see you guys later and make sure to subscribe, give this video a like. I hope you learned something today. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.